Hi SQL friends, welcome to another tutorial from SQL Maestros. You're watching this on our YouTube channel or uh, on sqlmaestros.com in the free video lobby section. So many times I get this question about the relative cost of the query. Now in many demonstrations that I do with respect to query tuning, I sometimes take uh, two queries like, like the, uh, a, a query that is doing bad and then we make some changes and then we rewrite the query, then I take the second version. So we always have this first query and the second query and then we compare them. Uh, so we run both the queries together. When you run both the queries together, you can see the relative cost of uh, each query uh, with respect to the total execution. Let me explain what I mean is, uh, we are on Ad in AdventureWorks 2016. So here are, here is two simple queries. So we take person dot person where last name like whatever add percentage. And this is another version of the query where last name is equal to Adams. So what we try to do, and, and I do this almost almost every day, which is you have this first query and then we take the second query and we run both of them together and we look into the execution plan. So we try to get an estimation from the optimizer as to which one potentially is a better version in terms of performance. So if you look at the cost here, for query one, the relative cost is 48% and for query two, the relative cost is 52%. Now this is the optimizer's estimate in terms of the relative cost of the query for uh, in comparison to the overall batch. So of course the overall batch is 100% and you have two queries, 48% plus 52% makes it 100%. Now this is optimizer's estimate. This is probably the first step towards tuning a query when you rewrite and then you get a second version. Let's say the first version is not using an index and in the second version an index is being used or whatever it is, you always have this first query and the second query. Now on a side note, you should just not rely on these estimates. You should also look into the actual execution metrics or actual runtime costs. Probably you know that already, but it is important that I call it out. Uh, you're looking at the CPU time, the elapsed time, the IO, the memory and, and whatnot, which is the actual runtime metrics. And then only you're sure, okay, the first, the second rewritten version is better than the first one, et cetera, et cetera. Coming back to this one where you see this relative estimates, the question which I get from the audience because in so many videos that I've done on YouTube uh, and in our video lobby where people ask, okay, how are these estimates computed, right? How do you, how, how does the optimizer really compute this 48% versus 52%? There has to be some mathematics, some arithmetic going on somewhere. Now this is the relative query cost. So in this quick, video, I will uh, show you how this computation is done. It's very, very straightforward, by the way. Okay, so let's do that. Now, what you need to see is what you have seen just now is the relative cost in terms of percentage, but each query has an absolute cost also very fine grain absolute cost. Query one cost is 0 0.257622 and query two cost is 0 0.28005. Where are these numbers coming from? These numbers are coming from the select operator. If you take the cursor over the first select operator here for the first query, you will see the subtree cost here, estimated subtree cost. This is actually the cost of the query. It has no unit of measurement. It is just an arbitrary number. So, um, I mean, you just have to take the number the way it is. So it is 0257622. Uh, this is the first number. Did I put that down correctly? Yeah. And the second one for the second query, the cost is here. Estimated subtree cost 0 0.28005. This is the actual cost. So now you know what we are looking at is the relative cost. So SQL Server here just does a very simple mathematics, which is the relative cost of the first query is you take the first query by the addition of the cost of the two queries into 100%. If you execute this, you will get about 48%, 47.9 to be precise. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the graphical execution plan there shows you 48%. 
So this is 47.9, which means the relative cost for the second query would be about 52 point something maybe. So this is the relative cost of the first query. Let's just pull this down. Relative cost for the second query. So you put the actual cost of the second query and then the remaining part of the formula remains the same. Let's go and execute this, which is 52.08 something, which means you add up both of this, you will get for 48% uh, for, uh, and 52% approximately. This is how the relative cost shows up. Let's do this once more execution plan. There you go. 48% versus 52%. Here we are. Quick stuff. It's always good to learn the internals of SQL Server. Do not forget to visit sqlmaestros.com upcoming masterclasses, recorded masterclasses, live webinars, free events, video courses, and a lot of these videos in the lobby. Yes, of course, membership plans, the free one and the premium one, a lot of stuff out there. Um, there's health check uh, stuff out there in case you want me to come down and just simply do or online, online, why come down? Online health check for your SQL Server deployments. We can do that remotely. If you want our masterclasses for a group of people, for example, your team members, do drop an email at contact at sqlmaestros.com. Someone from our team will revert promptly. All right, friends, see you soon in another video. Happy SQL.